What's going on guys? So today I'm just sharing another trade. Very excited about it. Got another Spyderco here. I'll show you in just a second what that is. Uh, and then I have a Topps knife as well. So first we'll read this letter. So, says Colonel Jeff. That's me. By the way, if you don't know, that stands for Kentucky Colonel. It's not military related. If you don't know what the Kentucky Colonels are, I suggest you Google it. I might make another video on it in the future. But anyway, my handwriting is quite legible, but typing a note is much easier while on break at work. <laughs> so, I can appreciate that. I sincerely hope you enjoy this limited edition Spyderco in Rex 45 and Topps Alert XL. I have a slight sentimental connection with each knife purchase I make, so I'm happy that these are going to someone who I know is truly a fellow knife lover. The Topps Alert is the first legitimate fixed blade necker I bought for myself. Uh, and it came with a Buck Knives slash Topps Collaboration uh, Cesar T folder. Uh, the Spyderco was a bit of an impulse purchase based on my love of all things copper. The full copper scales without liners is what uh, hooked me on this one. And the Rex 45 seemed to be an insane steal that I have not heard uh, talked about much. In my opinion, it is quite underrated. So glad I ended up buying both versions. I have many more knives in my collection that I should probably trade or sell due to the extremely limited use they get. Unfortunately, I just can't carry them all as much as I want to, and I do carry them, and I do carry them all. No safe queens, at least not yet. Very much looking forward to receiving the Zeta and Nimbus so I can get them into rotation. Enjoy, and I look forward to seeing your video. I certainly don't expect one, uh, but I know you've been sharing new additions to your growing PM2 collection and enjoy the updates. So yeah, that's what this is pretty much. I'm sharing this because a lot of people are asking about the PM2 collection. So obviously I let that one out of the bag there with the, uh, the letter. But this is the PM2 in um, copper and Rex 45, all right, made in the USA. This thing is shockingly heavy in a good way. All right, so this uh, particular person I did the trade with had two of these, they had the regular satin bladed version as well as the black one. And, uh, you know, obviously saw my Instagram post that I was looking for, you know, all these different uh, PM2s. This one is super cool. I'm glad to have this one in the collection. Uh, it's definitely different. Like I said, these solid copper uh, scales that's on here. I mean, th this adds quite a bit of heft. I don't know offhand what this thing weighs. Uh, I should have grabbed the scale if I had to guess, eight ounces, nine ounces, maybe, maybe even more. Uh, but you can see the uh, blade there. This one is in CPM Rex 45. Um, just cool. Very, very cool. Everything you want in a PM2, only a lot heavier and, and copper. And he happened to uh, carry and use these. Like he said, he uses all of his knives. So there's already a patina on here, which I certainly don't mind because I'm going to carry and use it as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's super, super cool. Besides that, we have this uh, Topps knife. This was kind of thrown in at the last second there, but of course, I love all things neck knives. He happens to have a carabiner on here. This is pretty uh, interesting. Basically like a, a Kiridashi. All right, this is the Alert XL. Super cool. Big fan of Topps knives. I do like the very simple little uh, paracord on here because it does give you kind of a, a little extra sum with your pinky there. I'll probably just trim off a little bit of this. But yeah, I mean, just super cool. Definitely uh, appreciate the trade. Um, packing his stuff up in just a minute here, but I want to make uh, make this video just to, to show this now that I got another PM2 uh, For the people who don't follow me on Instagram. I will make a full collection update video on my PM2 collection this makes I believe number 13 and uh, If I get the rest of the different blade steels, I'll talk more about in that video But I think I have 10 more there's actually 13 that I want because I want a fully serrated basic version of the PM2 I also want the lefty version of the PM2, and I want there's, a, I believe, a Warncliffe version, all right, from, I want to say, maybe Cutlery Shop, but anyway, uh, this one will go right into the collection, right into the rotation. It is chunky. It is heavy. It's, it's everything you would expect from thick, solid <laughs> copper handle scales. It, it's pretty, pretty uh, interesting, definitely uh, different from the other ones. So yeah, that's all. Just want to share the trade here and give everyone a little bit of a teaser. If you like the uh, Spark of PM2s, I will do, again, a collection update. I'll show you all the ones I have and talk about the ones that I want. And, of course, for all the experts out there, if I missed a blade steel or two, of course, you guys can let me know because maybe I don't know about all of them that exist. Uh, but as far as my count goes, there's about 23 different blade steels. <laughs> so that's a lot. That's a lot of different versions of this uh, particular knife. 
So anyway, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.